Hey all, Hiba here and uh, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Sea of Conquest and this video here on how to auto trade and how to do it successfully. So uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, lots of Sea of Conquest content coming, so uh, don't miss out. So uh, trading, well, uh, you know, it's pretty much a part of every uh, pirate game out there, but sometimes or most of the time it's implemented in such a way that it's a little bit of an afterthought like uh, the developers say yeah you can buy something here you can sell it there but it's just so they can say yes the game has trading uh it's not very deep but uh, sea of conquest actually has extremely deep trading uh, with many moving parts and a lot of things to consider so uh, this video here will just show you how to actually get started in auto trading. Uh, I'm not going to go into too many details, we'll do that in a different video. So uh, why should you auto trade? Well, it's one of the easiest ways to make gold in the game. And you're going to need a lot of gold if you want to progress in the Sea of Conquest. You're going to need it for pretty much all upgrades in the game and of course uh, for purchasing lots of stuff. So uh, it's extremely important. And uh, that's why you see when you're playing this game, uh, a lot of people auto trading all the time. Uh, if you look here on the map, uh, there's like, I don't know, probably a hundred players auto trading away. So uh, once you start to uh, actually want to do some auto trading, you first got to look at the map and uh, look at your gang's, uh, cons well, considering if you have a gang, but look at your gang's territory. Of course, uh, auto trading within your gang's territory is safer than uh, auto trading you know, across the map and uh, crossing other gangs' territory. Uh, but also the profits are usually higher doing that. So it's always a, uh, a gamble really. Like you gotta weigh up uh, you know, the price of goods versus the distance versus how much time you wanna auto trade. And of course, uh, what's, in, you know, what's in demand at certain ports. And uh, that's a very important aspect because uh, the little green arrow here I'm showing on the screen means that something is demand is in demand at this port, which happens to be Dime, Tarragon, and Sea Cucumber for this port here, for the next five hours, right? So, uh, of course, if you can sell one of these three products here, you're going to make more money. So, uh, this, you know, requires a bit of, you know, fiddling around on the map and checking out what's available, what's going on. So uh, this may sound complicated, but really in the end, it all just means that, uh, you know, buy something at a port, sell it at a different port. And uh, if you can find, you know, a port that is, has something in demand that you can buy at the other port, of course, that's better, but you don't have to. And uh, of course, if you can find two ports that are buying and selling stuff that is in demand at both ports, you're going to make even more money. So uh, if you go into the overhead map, you can see, uh, the ports, if you go into the, uh, the port view and uh, you can see where the green arrows are. So it's quite an easy way to just uh, quickly have a look at what's, you know, what's for sale, what's available, where can I take it? And uh, like I said before, uh, keep in mind how far you want to go and uh, how much risk you want to take. Because uh, a longer trade route uh, inevitably means that you're going to take more risk and you can get sunk on the way. So you really have to think well, not hard and long, but you really have to think a little bit about how much risk do you want to take because uh, you could be in this situation that uh, you just get sunk all the time going through some other gang's territory and you're not going to make any gold at all. So uh, it's, you know, it's worth thinking about because uh, of course sea monsters are a problem as well, but if you're pretty high level, that's not really an issue. But uh, you will probably, not probably, you will be attacked by other gangs when you are also trading. I mean, some gangs are nice about it. They don't attack players who are auto trading which I think is a you know a pretty good gentleman's agreement uh, but that's not always the case so what I mean is a uh, player that's auto trading isn't really a threat I mean it's just a guy trying to make some extra gold in uh, you know a game that requires a lot of gold so uh, personally I leave auto traders alone but uh, you know that's up to you all right, so uh, how to actually auto trade? Well, uh, all you got to do is just enter a port, a friendly port or a neutral port and uh, go to the trading venue. And, uh, you know, as you probably have done a million times before, just make sure your cargo hold is empty. So I just got to get rid of this random stuff I have here. And uh, then you just got to press the auto trade button up in the corner under your gold total. And uh, after doing that, you got to uh, choose your destination port. Now, like I said before, the further away, the more profit, but also, you know, it takes more time. So I'm 
just gonna pick Wales Pass here first. It's very close, and you see I get 583,000 gold for nearly five hours of work. Or not work, you know, auto work, I guess. Um, so it's not a great profit for, you know, but it's not also a lot of time and it's very safe. It's just, you know, just around the corner. So uh, don't forget the little end auto trade if defeated, because that means that uh, if someone sinks your ship while you're auto trading, uh, the game will stop auto trading and you will just be popped back at the ports, right? So that way you can avoid getting sunk over and over and over if you don't want to. So uh, now we're just going to have a look a little bit further away here. See, we get 2 million to go to this spot here, but it takes 13 hours instead of 4 hours. But the profit is much better. So uh, again, uh, we just, like, you got to figure out what's the best balance between uh, how much gold you're going to make, uh, how much time it's going to take, and, you know, uh, how far away it is. <laughs> So here, for example, if we go all the way to the end of the map, we're going to make more gold, but it's also going to take more than two days to actually, you know, get this gold in the pocket. So it's probably not worth it. Uh, I wouldn't recommend anyone being away from the game for two days. Uh, so I usually do something that's between four and eight hours, no more than that. And, uh, you know, if I get a million gold, that's fine. If I get two, that's also good. Uh, but it's not really... Uh, that important to me. It's more important to stay in safe waters so uh, your auto trade doesn't get interrupted, right? So uh, here, uh, if I pick a port within the blue area here, I should be pretty safe. I mean, it is, I mean, my gang's territory, but that doesn't mean that another gang can't come in there and sink me, but it's less likely than if I go through another gang's territory. So uh, here I'm about to pick the uh, trade do that I'll be doing. Uh, it's, you know, it's a bit of a, uh, like a middle ground between everything. So I'm going to start here in Beheader City. And uh, this port has bay leaf as their thing. So I'm looking for somewhere that actually wants to buy some bay leaf. And uh, you can see Fort Iron Forge, they want to buy bay leaf at a better price for the next five hours. So uh, it's not too far away. It is in a different gang's territory. But it's a gang that I happen to be allied with, so it's not that much of a problem. At least I don't hope so. <laughs> so we're going to, uh, you know, go into the trading post, click the auto trade button, and then we're going to find the port that wants to buy our bay leaf, which is all the way up here. It's, it's pretty far, but it's not too far. Uh, we click it and we say set as target. And uh, once you do that, you'll see, okay, if I keep doing this for one day, I'll make 4.7 million. I won't be doing this for one day. Uh, I'll make, probably do it for five hours, but I'm still gonna make about a million. So uh, that's it. We, uh, you know, start going and uh, that's it. You can log out of the game now and uh, come back in whatever time you want to wait. And uh, the ship will just make money for you while you're away. So it's an easy way to make uh, gold and, uh, you know, it doesn't really take much effort. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you out there.